Right, it's boss time. And to the amazing knight on Bold Mountain, we have Chernobog. Now, um, Knight and Paul Martin doesn't actually appear on the soundtrack. Something you might not know. Now, you can actually land on Chernobog's shoulder or on the mountain and summon Tink. Very useful, I have to say. <laughs> um, Chernobog, up until Dream Drop Distance, was, had only appeared in this game. But he is appearing in Dream Drop Distance, apparently. I'm avoiding spoilers like the plague. <laughs> it's quite a fun boss battle, really. I have to say. We bit of trivia about Chernobog is that he's one of only eight enemies in the game who don't have entries in Jiminy's journal. With this being Antisora, the Bit Snipers, the Cave of Wonders Guardian, Shadowsora, Crank Tower, Glut, which is the shark, and World of Chaos, which is something we'll be coming into later. Um, Chernobog's name is actually taken from the Slavic deity Klinnabog. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it basically means Black God. And in Japanese, uh, his name is Fantasia Nomaji, which is basically demon of Fantasia, because Chernobogi here was from Fantasia. In the Night on Bold Mountain segment, which is why that's playing. Obviously he's evil, so he must face the wrath of the key. Now this boss can be difficult. Obviously, um... You will see Donald and Goofy die a lot, but as, as long as you sort of stay near his head and run out of the way when he makes a key sign, it's basically when he does that, you don't want to get hit in that because it's painful. He also pushes you away and stuff, but yeah, I can deal with that. I seem to recall this boss being a lot harder. Then again, I, I, I think my skills have definitely improved a lot since I um, first played the game. Oh, Chernobyl, come off it. There you go. Take that. Hmm. <sighs> And Chernobog is no more. Yay! And now we get Super Glider. Oh, thank God. Best ability ever. Basically, it's a super fast glide. You just got to press square to do it. Ooh. Um, I think I'll add critical plus. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, uh, hmm, don't know. Yeah, I think I'll wait on him as well. Oh no, I'll get ready to cheer and then I'll um, stick on MP haste. Mm -hmm. So if you just dive into the um, here, yeah, you can get in right here. Um, now, if you want to get out of here, although I don't quite know why you would, 
um, you've got to fly up to the top to get back to the world terminus. But why would you? There's no need. This place is literally pointless. Ooh, what a weird place. Oh well, onwards and upwards, as they say. So this place is gross, but oh well. And here's the um, final area of the battle. And here's another behemoth for you to take down. <laughs> so there is only three, I think. I don't think another one appears. At least I'm pretty sure another one don't appear. I could be wrong though. No, it's fun quite it's fun using Gravira to bring him down. It is But it's not very effective, because sometimes it doesn't work, which sucks. Gonna die, behemoth. Take that. Huh. And basically, now we've got to um, beat up loads of Harless to get this to open. Yay! Literally, that's what we're doing for the next six minutes. Now the reason I'm summoning Tink is because this battle is long, and she'll be useful, trust me. Literally, you'll know when to quit because there'll be no more heartless to murder, essentially. And this area is actually quite important if you um, want to get stuff because it will be the only place where you can find invisibles and angel stars. And it's also meant to be an excellent place for finding um, mushrooms. Because one of the key things with um, the synthesis is that you need a lot of mystery goos. There's about I think you need nine in total. Let's just say I hate mushrooms. After this, because although you're meant to get have a very high chance of getting mushrooms in this particular area. It's still a very small chance of you getting it, and it's just frustrating having to exit and enter, exit and enter, and reset, and all sorts to try and get the bloody things to appear. Now, as you can see, we're nearly there because the um, thinking in the background is nearly broken, but we can't do anything until then. This might be the, nearly the last wave, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. It's not like it's a problem though, we just continue to murder everything! Simple. I like how I've already got loads of gales, it's great. Bloody dart balls. Now, is it me? Okay, this this one might be the last stretch, maybe? Or we might have to do one more wave, maybe. We'll see. It's not like we're in a rush or anything. 
you know, I'd, I'd like it if you guys were a bit more effective, Donald and Goofy. Because at the minute, it's just me doing all the bloody killing blows. Okay, we, we, we sh should be nearing the end now. Please say we're nearing the end now. Oh, come on. We, we, this has got to be the last wave, hasn't it? Please. No. Oh. I'm sure that was going to be it. Oh, you monsters. Making me fight for six minutes flat. Thankfully, I'm at a decent level, so it's not too much of a problem. Could have been a lot worse, you know. Oh, for you get. At least he went for Donald. And there we go, that... Does it? Oh, look at team players. Okay, that's... That, that, that makes things simpler. Now we can go on to the final rest. Whew. So essentially, we could finish the game now, if I wanted to. But you see, here's the thing, I don't want to. There's a load of other stuff that we need to do first. We need to take down the Hades Cup. We, well, I, I'm going to get the um, ultimate weapon. We've got the... Um, optional bosses to try and take down and um, then also because I just want to be a badass I'm gonna get Donald and Goofy's best weapons as well but first let's return it to um, Traverse Town and go see the Dalmatians because I think they deserve to get their last batch of puppies back don't you? <laughs> So, let's go to the accessory shop. Might as well. It's not like we're going to be any quicker anywhere else. Also, we might be able to synthesize a few things while we're here, so... Let's have a look, can we? Yay! No, can't do that one. Oh, we can do that one. That's good. Can't do that. Oh. Where was the other one? That looked like I could do it. Blow. Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Don't know why I'm going downstairs. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just wait. What? What crazy shenanigans am I getting up to? Huh? Oh, whatever. I'm assuming I'm going to Merlin. I guess. Yeah. No? Yes? Yes. Okay. Good. I finally made a decision. Ugh. Got anything interesting to say, Merlin? Oh. Uh, take us to the cavern, because then we can just sort of... We're hop, skip and a jump. Are we from the Dalmatians? 
Now, I will use Super Glide eventually. I've just kind of forgotten how to um, do it. It's square, not circle. But it is good to sort of have both. Because sometimes you need the quick flying out of the way, and other times you need a slightly slower path. There we go, that's that's the super glide. Now for the duration of this part, largely I'm going to be showing you an excellent little um Well an excellent trick to leveling up and an excellent trick for um getting a batch of the synthesis items. Okay. That's all of the puppies returned. <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. cutscene, it's so sweet. And for returning all of the puppies, we get an upgrade to a rover, so we get a rover and a complete gummy collection. So we have every single gummy item that you could possibly get, ever. If that's not all I don't know what is. <laughs> Now, I don't quite know what track M was playing there, but it is quite sweet. Right, now, this here is the excellent little trick you can do. You can go into the um, hotel, battle five defenders and five wizards. Go into the red room, battle loads of dark balls, and get a chance of getting some white wash rooms. Go into the next room, in, well, go into the green room, and then you can get um, surge ghosts. And then you can come back out and repeat the cycle. It's essentially a really, really, really good um, little trick you can do. So, it's useful, definitely. The one thing about the um, Dalmatians that you can spot, um, if you look very carefully for detail in the game and in the strategy guide, then you can find that puppy number 5 is actually a patch. Um, and look, you can also find Lucky, who is the puppy in front of the TV set. Because um, if you look closely, you can see it from his spot. Now, right when we start, when we were first in Traverse Town, the Gizmo Shop was an excellent place to level up. It still is. But now you've got to fight stronger enemies so you get more stuff, you know? It works. So this is pretty much all we're going to be doing until the end. Now, one thing about um, the Dalmatians, um, Fungo likes a voice actor speaking whilst obviously speaks in the movie. And this is because Sora and his friends don't have a method of communicating with animals unless they are in said animal's world and or they utilise Donald's, Donald's magic to become that breed of animals themselves. So that's sort of like Pride Lands with... Simba and the like. Up until this point, he um, can't. They can't communicate. And the same goes for Padita, really. And I can't find the song plays there, but it doesn't matter. It's 
not a problem. There's probably quite a few tracks that don't appear on the actual soundtrack. I mean, it might appear. Doesn't matter. Now, after um, eating everything in here, I'm going to go on a nice little um, trek for um, synthesis items. You know, the, the five hour trek that I've been talking about every now and again. Yep, that's the one. Is that it? Okay, that's all of the um, Gizmo Shop, and if you do that a couple of times, well, if you keep doing that, you'll level up in no time, really. <laughs> so, I shall see you back after my nice five hour slog trying to get gummy, not gummy chip, gummy stuff, um, synthesis items. Yay. Fun! Uh.